<laughs> All right, the question we're kicking off the show with is, do you think you can be kind of single? No! Exactly how <laughs> Sofia Vergara described her relationship status to Us Weekly. Now, despite going public with her, I guess, we don't know, what is he, Dr. Justin Solomon? This was, you know, about a year ago, we saw this picture, but now she's saying she's kind of single. What does that mean? What does being single mean? What is your definition really? of single? Well, I, I think it's evolved and changed. I remember when I was in my 20s and I was dating, as soon as I had been with somebody for a couple of months, if we were sleeping together, I immediately thought, like, we're we're not single anymore. Neither one ever single. Okay. We never really Without a conversation? About it, right? Wait, wait, wait. Without a confirmation in, in a 20s, conversation. Yeah. I, no one taught us how to do anything. So I just assumed, oh, which led to a lot of heartbreak okay. where I would be very confused and I would feel like I was getting cheated on. Right. So fast forward to the relationship I'm in currently. Like I have learned a lot over the years and now I know that these things require conversations. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I think you can be also... <laughs> you can be... Technically married and single. We know that that's a truth. People who are going through divorces oh, who are right. still married, or, you know, yeah, and yeah, still yeah. technically. And you can also be <laughs> not married, not legally married, and also committed, like, or fairly committed, which is my situation. Okay. Mm. Right? So I think there's nuance. But do the lesbians have this problem, Hilvira? Oh, the lesbians. <laughs> thing about the lesbian and gay community at large is that we've always seen ourselves as rebels. Like, we are not bound by your rules, straight people. Mm -hmm. and, yet, <laughs> and yet the truth is we're just like everyone else. We're predictably boring. And lesbians in particular, we're like shark's teeth. You lose one, the other one pops up. Like <laughs> to know. I, I agree with Cynthia. It is, it comes down to communication. I mean, and you're right. In your 20s or back in, at that time, it wasn't emphasized. So this conversation you're talking about, I'm so confused. I had the opposite. I had the opposite. From the time I started dating, which would be like junior high, it was always defined even with a note like, are you my girlfriend? Yes or no? Are we going what? steady? <laughs> you're wearing my letter jacket. It was always defined. So this like, I don't understand what people don't understand about this. When I hear she's kind of single, what I hear here is, I got a couple people in my DMs. I, I don't have to be alone on Friday night. I could go out, but I'm not committed to anybody. There's no one out there that is confused that I am their girlfriend. Mm. So if I meet somebody else on Thursday, it's cool, because that other person knows that we're not in a committed relationship. But I think the reason why everybody feels so strongly about this is that it taps a nerve where people who are in situationships where you're afraid to mm. ask, like, mm. what is this? Because you're afraid either they'll say, well, this is nothing, I'm not that interested, or you're afraid the person's gonna reject you and be like, did you not hear me? when I said I'm not looking for anything serious. Mm. And I also think that society is so, as much as we like to be fluid, we still like to put people in a box. And that's why the kinda is bothering people. If she said I'm single, I would be like, oh, she's single. But it's the kinda. People like to know if you're married, divorced, single. Let the woman live. She's been through enough. Do you know her relationship status in the past couple years? She's been through the ringer. You know what? But I get it. I get it too, but I think it's the kinda, because like, kinda single means like, are we on a break and I can sleep with other people? Yes. Or are we kind of single, like we're just trying to feel this out if we're gonna continue with the relationship and I can't sleep with other people. So I, I think with her, what I think she might be saying is she went public with that doctor and everybody's like, ooh, after Joe Manganiello, this was like the first guy. Right. And if a celebrity chooses to go public with someone at a really like, you know, a place where they're gonna get papped and everyone's like, ooh, who's she with? She's making a statement that she's with this but person. But here's the deal, right? you actually just tapped really. on something where it's like, when you're famous, you don't get that that privacy to just go on a date and let it just be a date that because the paps be are taking celebrity. a picture and as soon as you're with somebody, Every time you're in a relationship. Not. Every time anyone says papped, I think of paps. Paps here. Me. Oh, right. <laughs> Sake. Every time you are photographed Thank you. Right. with right. yeah. somebody, yeah. they yeah. assume yeah. there must be a, a very long-term relationship. Yeah. I don't know. For me, like when when someone says they're in an open relationship, I'm pretty sure they're the only one in the relationship that knows about it. Oh no! Really? That's not oh. true. No, in my I, experience, I, I but I think that the, it's a lot easier to just kind of do kinda and then not have to commit. I'm not uh, sure because yeah. there's I, always an out. Mm. Yeah, well, if an anybody's out. wondering, I'm kind of single. So. <laughs> Sir. 
We've got so many more must-see interviews, spicy debates, lifestyle tips, and pop culture moments. So subscribe to our channel by tapping the logo below and don't miss out.